Hello there buddy, so we do from Darkseid, and welcome back to Rio. Today, we're back playing Earthbound. This is probably going to be the last episode, probably, uh, big probably. I'm not really sure, the game keeps surprising me with even more content than I've ever thought. So there's a chance, big chance, that there's still more content, and then there's a chance that we are right in front of the last boss, and we're gonna fight him in this episode. So, let's just get, let's just get there. I can't speak. Let's just jump right into it. Legendary Bat. Ooh. That sounds like quite the interesting item. I'm gonna be taking that. Hopefully it's better than the bat that I currently have. If it's not as bad as good, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Because that happened in the previous video where we, we I was getting a bat, which I was hoping it's a good bat, and then apparently it's not. Thankfully this one is way better. That is good. Hello. Whoa. Teleporter. Interesting. Cave. Interesting. That is just straight up intestines. There is just intestines all over the place. That is scary. Hello? It's... me. It's him! Oh, it's him! Tyro, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predict take place. You guys will be in by Gigas. Gigas will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas. Lord Gigas? I don't care. And now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas, no. Gigas is no longer the real lord of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Alright, on guard, Pokey. Oh, so we have Gigas and Heavily Armored Pokey. We have two enemies here, and we have no Psy whatsoever. Which is always my favorite. Um, do I have any goods? Bag of Dragonite? Maybe for later. I'm gonna target Pokey first. Uh, now these guys have to just spam magnets, because that's all they can do. You have a straight-up bazooka, <laughs> so go ahead and use that. Uh, you should also magnet. Psy games? Oh, that's a weak one. Okay, I'm fine with that. We'll be okay. I'm worried about what Pokey would do. Mmm, lowering down all our stuff. That's kind of smart. Oh, the music is picking up! Oh, you cannot lower the damage of the bazooka, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have anything better? No, the bazooka, yeah. Or can I shield? I need 30 to be able to do a good, good, proper shield. So Giga seems to be pretty weak in his current form, because he is barely able to do anything, which I am completely fine with. Uh, we still have a bazooka, shoot it at Pokey. As for you, I would like you to actually give us a good proper shield. That'd be good. Lily just needs a crap ton more uh, PP, that would be great. Ooh, look at him! It's now Beta! Oh god, Lily's dead. John's dead. 
Nope, Lily's dead. Though John's gonna survive. Lily is not gonna benefit from the shield? Seriously? That sucks. We still have a bazooka. That's good. We cannot recover anyone actually as we can. Using the horn of life. That's the wrong person. Oh my god. Ooh, he's still up. Dang. I decided you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigas. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gigas looks like. If you were to ever see Gigas, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. Oh, now the battle starts. So, isn't it terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gigas cannot think rationally anymore. He isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. And you, you will be just another meal to him. This is... That's the true battle. Alright. Any goods? Bag of Dragonite. I was saving this up. John? You still have the bazooka. Use the bazooka, John. On Gigas. Tony? Horn of Life. On Lily. Charo. You cannot grasp the true form of Gigas's attack. <laughs> Didn't hit anyone. It's an electric attack. Alright. That's barely any damage. Jesus, sats must be high. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna recover everyone's HP, because everyone's gonna need it. Lily? Uh, what can you do, Lily? I think- I think Lily should just straight up attack as much as she can. John, you still have a heavy bazooka that's doing a lot of damage, and for Tony, you need to Psy Magnet and hope for the best. Perfect. Chiro, he's still attacking. Weak electric attacks, though. Kinda worrying me. He doesn't have any PP? Oh, no. Huh. That's a little scary. Because now I only have, like, a single actual full heal. And that's everything. I can't even flash him. I can't do that. And Lily can't get any more PP stuff at all. That's it. Goods wise, we have no. We have a a side caramel and a defense shower. I'm gonna use the defense shower and the heavy bazooka because it's a heavy it's a heavy bazooka. Let's be honest. And a viper might be helpful. Ow! Ooh, ice attack. Oh, we lost that entire turn, except for Tony, who was able to throw a viper. <laughs> Dang, Tony, that was badass. <laughs> okay, Lily, again, defense shower, John, heavy bazooka. Uh, for Tony, I don't think you have anything actually good to use. You do have the Brain Lunch food, which gives 500 HP and like 50 PP, which is super duper good. I'm gonna leave that for later. I'm gonna give some jerky to Tony. Oh, Tony's dead. And there is the flanking badge. Oh, thank you, Tony. Could not use it very well. Is it a John specific item? I feel like it might be. <laughs> you must be real. You must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage in this universe. Ha! <laughs> That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, 
My heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, Chiro? Say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something. So just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. I don't need help. I'll do this on my own. He's evolving. He is just straight up evolving. Uh-oh. I did not know that. One eternity later. Vizuka, I'm down. Uh, Basham and you use the Horn of Life on me. It's not right. Not right. Not right. Really? John became numb now? Really? If we lose the fight just because John kept being numb, I'm going to be so sad. Great, there goes John. Oh, I just had to pray with Lily? Hello? They're all back. Oh, y'all could hear? Heck yeah. Come on. Put your hands up. Let's do this Goku style. <laughs> all of the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling they had never experienced before. And they all started praying for the safety of Chiro and his friends. They're all dead. We're still on the fight. Yigas' defense became unstable. John got hurt and collapsed. If only I knew that that's what I was supposed to do all along. That would have been so good. I, I can't do anything now. Like, I'm just gonna keep on praying. So we just had- we just had- legit just had to keep praying. That's- that's the game plan. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something st something stop him, and he prayed fervently. Fervently. I don't know what's, how to say that word. He prayed. Gigas took damage? Pray again, I guess. Lily is just not gonna go down, because he's barely gonna do any damage. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Uh, just keep on praying. All of my friends are dead. Oh, it's Lily's dad. Is he gonna get everyone outside to pray? Yes, yes he is. Lily's father thought he somehow uh, he somehow heard his daughter's voice. And prayed sincerely for the safety of Lily and her friends. Can you, like, revive all of us for once? Do something useful? Nope, he's just taking more damage. Pray again, I guess. And he's wasting his turn. Oh, nope, he's not wasting his turn this time. Uh, still, it's not- it's nothing. Alright, that's a good attack. Heck yeah! <laughs> Please give us strength! Come on, people! Revive my friends! Tony has all the horns of life that are left. Alright, y'all. Pray for John and everyone else. Who are dead. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about John. And he prayed strongly for the safety of John and his friends.
168 damage. That's kind of good damage, but still, it's it's nothing compared to John's bazooka. Oh, there's people in Dalam. Huh. We're just gonna go through all the areas, I guess. A young woman in Dalam woke up in a dream in which Prince Tony died, and she prayed and began uh, that began to pray for Tony's safety and well-being. Can you revive Tony? Please? Nope. Great. I just needed Tony to revive. Because then he'll revive everyone else. Because he has the, the items for it. Oh, that's a good attack. If only it would hit so I can hit it back. Borgar place. Oh, it's this guy! Suddenly Frank recalled Chiro's shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Chiro and his friends. Dang, even Frank. Filthy Frank is here behind me. He's got my back. Whoo, damn, filthy Frank. That's a good amount of damage. Can you hear me, Mom? Or hear a lily? I'm dead. Oh, and here's the actual Lily, I think. And here's Pucci. There's the doggo. Suddenly, Tara's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Just plain damage. Great. Uh, he's not doing well. It hurts. Yeah, I'd hope it hurts. Because if it doesn't, then we're going nowhere. Haha! -ha. <laughs> yeah, do more of those attacks, please. Uh, yeah, we have no items at all. Pray again. I can't think of anyone else. Well, I, I don't know what to do, man. I, I just need to heal. Lily's call was absorbed by the darkness. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, so this is just absolutely freaking useless now. Offense up, shield. Yeah, you have nothing. The best thing you can do is try and use a uh, Psy Magnet, which doesn't work on this guy. Yep. Can we use other people's goods? No, we cannot. The only thing that can make us lose at this point in, in the fight is one of his attacks, which just immediately KOs a person. Uh, that would be dangerous. Numbness would be a little annoying, but I'm pretty sure you can heal Numbness on your own. Ooh, smash. Oh, double smash. Heck yeah, give this up. Even though I think it's barely making a dent in him because, well, he probably has a lot of HP. Welp, we lost. I wonder how. Did we, did we like lose all our stuff though? Yes, we have. Guess I'm gonna reset then. One eternity later. Lydia and her friends touched the heart of someone. Prayed for the kids. Oh, dang. That's a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Chara's kept praying. I've been fighting this for an hour and a half. 7,000 damage. Is Lily, is that all? Are we all gonna keep praying? Could it be Gigas is praying? 10,000 damage. Ouch. Chiras kept praying. 
30k damage. Jeez. Hello. You okay, man? Are we gonna reach the final phase? Chiro, now I... Well, uh, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away into another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. Alright, be seeing ya. So now, uh, which one of us do you think is the cool guy? The gig ass? Look at him. He's so cool. He seems... Oddly misunderstood, in my opinion at least. Maybe he's not the bad guy after all. So what are we doing now? I'm spamming A. Okay. Uh, hello? Um... Are we there? No, don't go towards the light! Oh. Oh dang, we're all destroyed. It makes sense. The war against Gigas is over. Oh, so that was it. We're going back. Back where? I don't know. We're in the past. I'm not supposed to even be born. Oh man, that wasn't a hard fight at all. You just had to keep on spamming prey. Legit, just keep on spamming prey. And I was trying to br bring up a strategy. It's, I've been recording for an hour and a half. I've been trying to get like a cool strategy to be able to kill him. Uh, and e economizing items, leveling up my characters and grinding them, speeding up the fight every now and then. And apparently, all you do is just spam prey from Lily. She's the hero, not me. Our travels together, our oh, travels together, end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Chiro, Lily, John, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realize this power is a child. Sigh farewell now. I'll see you again someday. Goodbye, buddy. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> oh, a bunch of gifts. Thank you, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing these are from him. Shake hands. Lily, Chiro, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I love that I have the chance to use some of these, some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, Maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. Yeah, maybe, John. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. And Donuts. You mean your dad? I mean, for my dad. Yeah, your dad. <laughs> so, looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Aw, that's sweet. And Mr. Saturn's just there. <laughs> Charo, will you escort me home? No. Well then, I'll export you. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Letter from kids inside. I'll take that. Sure. 
Letter from mom inside. Okay. Letter from Tony inside. Interesting. Okay. Use the letter from kids. Dear Lily, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fi too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please, come play with us again at the Polyester Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polar Stars Preschool. What about from mom? Dear Charo, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, you don't have as much laundry. We also don't seem to eat toast as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Close enough. Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all about the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Pucci, and I are waiting for you. Oh, so my sister's name is Tracy. Okay, cool. Love, Mama. Mama! Dear John, everything's really going great here. I thought that this, it's the other Tony. I didn't know it was this Tony, because there's two Tonys and it's confusing now. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. I wish so too. That's why I called you Tony and John. But instead, I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. Your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. You're tr yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Oh, well, that's sad. Uh, hey, hey, John. Uh, use. Ah, Charlie, you've read it. <laughs> that Tony has a heart of gold. All right, cool. Well, he knows now. All right, let's let's go. Actually, can I just... Oh, please tell me I can... Oh, no. Wait, hold on. I have other people to talk to, like you. It's a miracle, a miracle that only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. Should have used the fake distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids saved the world. Ah, ha, ha. What about Apple Kid? Chance of Gigas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has reduced to 1% that Gigas fails. I must try to come a deeper understanding uh, of this trait called courage. Yeah, they all died. My courage, that is. It was in winters that we last met. I just got here, teehee. Yeah, incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure for what for, but good job. Well done. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Bye-bye, dude. What about Mr. Stacker? What do you have to say? Zoom. <laughs> That's what I'd expect from him. Uh, can I, uh, sight teleport? I can. I think we met Lily in Tucson. Hey, developer dog, do you have anything to say? You're fantastic, you even take time to talk to animals. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. I thought he's gonna have something like special, like, Oh, congrats on legit finishing the game. I'm also bringing Lily back to her home. Charo, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember it by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Yep. Bye-bye. What do you have to say? He's smiling. Aw. That's nice. Guess they all miss Lily. And it's my turn to go back home. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'd rather do this thing. Actually, I'm looking the wrong direction. There we go. That's the right direction. And this time you're famous. I heard you asked a Tucson girl out on a date. What's her name? You know, you have one of those baby faces that really attract girls. You lucky boy. Huh? Oh, I guess it's Lily. Okay, cool. Just one last walk through this place. You used to look much more helpless. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm sure everyone else has like a different text. Hooray! The sharks are gone from the arcade. Now I can go in, except I don't have any money to play the games. Oh, that's sad. Ah, <sighs> do I? Ha can I return the map now? If she's in a good mood, a lady in the library will kiss you. <gasps> Gasp! Hello, I saved the world. Hi, it's not necessary to return the map now. Come back in 2001. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait till 2001. Technically, it's not 2001, so she's not wrong. There doesn't seem to be any enemies on the road, which is kind of cool. It also makes sense, you know? Ah, home sweet home. Hello, doggo. Are there dogs? I haven't figured it out yet. But I know that you guys saved the world. Heck yeah. 
Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories. But I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all, your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. So we can see all of our photos again. Can I finally go and get some rest? No problem here, really? Hello, sister. Goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork, York. If you have any problems with your assignment, I'll help you. Don't don't get freaked out. Did Iskaru Express, my old com company, help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend? Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help with, it, with anything other than your schoolwork? Yeah? Oh, well that's it. Take care slipped out of my mouth. Just like I was talking to you when you were gone. Well, I have no idea where to go. Hint guy, how are you doing? Well, I want to thank you for all the times that I used the hint chop. It's been a while since I first saw you. This is my final day in business. That's sad. Well, so long, kid. No, no. Master Chiro. See you again, if fate allows it. So there's no more stuff. There's nothing to do. That's it. That's the game. There's no- there- is there no credits? Because I haven't found any credits. Oh, there's a present here. Teddy bear inside. <laughs> now I have another teammate. Chiro, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone's probably worried about you. I did go home. Hi, Mom. Did you finish doing everything that you wanted to? Yeah. Okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. Oh, so I had to talk to her again. That's cool. Well, that was the end of Earthbound. I've always heard about this game. I honestly never thought I'd ever, ever play it. Mind you, finishing it and trying my best to explore every nook and cranny of it. So, this has been the one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. I know that there is a previous version to this game called Mother, and this is technically Mother 2, and then there is Mother 3, which is... I might play after this. I've never played Mother 1, though, so I might play that too. Though, in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to be playing it anytime soon, because in a way, I'm not mentally prepared for another big journey like this but uh yeah this was such an amazing journey maybe a long journey but it was super duper fun and i'm thankful for everyone who decided to come along with me through this game it was an absolute blast from start to finish uh the the, the end fight is a little disappointing in my opinion because, well, all you have to do is just pray. And I had no idea, because uh, when when you're finished praying, they tell you, oh, the darkness consumed your prayers. But you have to keep praying after that. And I didn't know this. Uh, so I could have technically won the fight long ago. But I don't know. Maybe I won because Chiro was alive. I'm not sure. But this was such an amazing game. Uh, the characters' names which I used are Lily for my sister, who was apparently my girlfriend. John, my best friend. Tony, his little brother. I just wanted to, to have... Um, like, that's what you would do as a child. Like, you'd, you'd take your friends' names and put them in the game. You wouldn't, like, make imaginary characters, I don't think. Maybe you would. But I never had imaginary characters as a child, so... Oh well. Uh, so... This is the first time I've ever played through this game. I've only heard about it. And I've heard a lot about Gigas and stuff. From like, people talking through theory videos and stuff like that. Which was super duper cool. Actually experiencing the fight. Again, a little sad about how it's gonna end. Uh, I really hope that like the fight would actually be me trying my best to win. But apparently no, you just have to keep praying and then you win. But it's fine. Maybe maybe you actually do can kill him by just hitting him. But I I didn't have the time for that. 
and they are better to doing any damage. So yeah, when well, the flying man is back to being alive. I still hate that part of the game. And that's uh, pretty much the end. Um, I'm gonna go back to playing stuff like Minecraft maps and such. I have two big, amazing Minecraft maps from what I've seen installed and just ready to play. But they're gonna be for probably tomorrow, the day after it. So leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, take care. Huh. Hello? Who's there? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for- uh, Thanks, dad. You're ruining a great moment. Wow. I know I've been recording for two hours, but come on. Someone's knocking on the door. Let's go, Teddy. Who the heck could it be? Is the game- I still have all my stuff. Is the game like a reset? Or something? Hello. You are... I forgot your name. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. Ugh. There's no stamp. It's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought a Grover. Anyway, it says, come and get me, loser. Spankety, spankety, spankety. I wonder where he is. I see. <laughs> the teddy bear in the end. The end. Lovely. Question mark? <sighs> Guess I'll be playing Earthbound 3 some other day. Not Earthbound 3. Mother 3. I don't know. Whatever the heck you want to call it. I'm not... I, I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until next time, take care. Goodbye, everyone.